Hey, what's up everybody? Reggie Kimball, Stickman number one. Welcome to the Puff Sip Chat. We are here to explore the world of premium cigars and premium whiskey with the people who make it possible. On today's episode, I got my man John Callery of Tampa Cigar Week, and we're going to talk about what else? Tampa Cigar Week. Hey, I'm going to light myself up one. I'm going to pour myself one. In the meantime, I want you to like, subscribe, comment, let us know what you think, and hey, Come check us out, Mr. John Collery, Tampa Cigar Week, y'all. Peace. Well, for those who may or may not know, the Cigar Weeks have actually become a thing, right? You got Atlanta Cigar Week. You got my personal favorite, Atlanta Cigar Experience. Right here in Florida, you have Orlando Cigar Week, you got Black Smoke Miami, you got Destination Earth, and well, you got Tampa Cigar Week, my hometown, how about that? So check out this conversation with my man John Collery. It's been a little bit controversial, I'm not gonna lie, because there's some school of thought that said, hey, maybe we don't need a Tampa Cigar Week because this is Tampa, right? It's home of cigars. And there's some that say, oh, we most definitely need a Tampa Cigar Week to pay homage to our history and legacy of cigars. Well, whatever side of the fence you stand on, it's all good because we all got opinions, right? I asked them to respond to all the people that say there shouldn't be a Tampa Cigar Week. And I also asked them to respond to the people that said, why him? My man, John Collery, good brother. Check him out, Tampa Cigar Week. Collery of Tampa Cigar Week. So, brother, who is John Collery? Oh, I'm a Air Force vet. I uh, moved here 2016, uh, and I, I love cigars. You know, I love the leaf. So why did you decide to start Tampa Cigar Week? For me, being a man that has smoked all over the world, in different cities, different lounges, you know, I've met more people doing this than anything else. And being here and living in this community and immersing myself in the cigar heritage here has, has really, you know, taken root in my soul, right? And I want to share everything that Tampa has to offer about that. And why you? Why not me? For me, it's one of those things where I saw something that wasn't available here in Tampa, and I felt that I could bring all of these pieces together and be able to share to where people can enjoy, even though we do this on a daily basis, right? And there are places where people haven't ever seen or knew about prior to this that even live here. So for me, it's one of those things of trying to share those places, these little hidden gems where you can find things that are vintage cigars that you can't get anywhere else because they're not even made anymore to you know where you can get the most popular cigar. So it's definitely one of those things for me where I like to share those pieces of Tampa with the world. Is this really about the culture or is this some type of money grab? What would you say, what would your response be to those individuals? Well, first off, it can't be a money grab because I haven't made any money from it. <laughs> this is a labor of love for me. And it's literally something that I just want to be able to share what we have. And a lot of people don't believe that, but it's okay. You know, because once they actually come down and see it for themselves, they'll already understand that it's all about the love of the leaf and the culture that we have down here in Tampa. Well, with Tampa's rich history mm -hmm. of cigars and of having truly a culture of cigars, where it's about just enjoying the cigar itself and enjoying the camaraderie of others, and we have some successful events already. One specifically that comes to mind is the Heritage Fest that Absolutely. happens every December in Ybor City. So one might say with us living cigars, literally almost every day, do we actually need a Tampa Cigar Week? 
Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. My thing is, is I, I love the Heritage Festival, but the Heritage Festival is about the cigar. It's about the brands. It's about their histories and all of that for me. Tampa Cigar Week is the celebration of the history, celebration of the culture, and where you can actually go find those pieces. So we dive into the different lounges that have been doing this for 30 plus years, you know, and they have these humidors where they have probably the best selection within at least 150 miles. You can find everything from a boutique to your high-end, high-level, ultra-premium cigars in these locations, but a lot of people have never heard about them. So that's why we do this, is so we can share these, piece, these pieces and places so people can actually go through and get the cigars that they want to smoke. We, we're here trying to share the culture, the, the lifestyle, of what we do on a daily basis. And we're trying to introduce places that people that live here in Tampa may have never known existed. Mm -hmm. So that is what we're trying to uh, do and push. Okay. We're about a few short months away yeah. from the third annual Tampa Cigar Week. Yeah, man. And I know you're getting ready. You and your team are hard at work. Get sure. everything prepared. This is your girl, Juju, and I am the Director of Administrative Services for Tampa Cigar Week. My name is Kevin Odom, a.k.a. Kale the Big Bear Cigar. I am your host of Tampa Cigar Week, also the Director of Operations. And obviously, when you prepare for what is about to be your third event, I'm sure you probably look back at the first two events and do a little bit of a post-mortem, if you will, and say, how did that go and how oh, yeah. do you make the next one even better? Absolutely. You have to. Yeah, you, you have to learn from your experiences previously. And what was what did you learn from the first two experiences that you're gonna turn around and apply that in the one that's coming up? Oh man. So for me, there's just a couple of pieces. Uh, I learned that uh, I can't do it by myself. You know, and trying to do the first year all by myself. There was a lot of things that I did accomplish and made it happen. But for me, I felt that there was a few shortfalls and I needed a team in order to accomplish everything. Well, Tampa Cigar Week is all about the culture. It is about being a family and it's only for one purpose and that's the love of the leaf. We've learned from our experiences this year and we're going to apply them you know, we're going to have different pieces like um, a central location for check-in. Things of that nature is going to be a lot better for us because now it's not a matter of moving around and trying to get set up before the event and have people check in at the event and hold people up at the door. Now it's Come on in, enjoy. A, a few days early, maybe yeah. a day or two early. Absolutely. Come in, get set up, and you'll have a centralized place to go check in. Okay. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Okay. And then the other piece that uh, I learned is uh, brand recognition. So for us, we were, I was really trying to help uh, the small batch and the boutique brands uh, when I started out. Uh, and a lot of people are just learning about these brands. Uh, I was trying to give them a bigger exposure uh, and people didn't quite get what we were trying to do. So this year we are working with uh, much larger brands and we're going to have uh, dedicated parties to these wonderful brands and we're going to get to share their experiences and their love. But at the same time, we're going to bring along uh, our boutiques and our small batch so that they can be a part of that and be in the same room and have the same conversation, you know, while these big boys are doing their things. So. All day, and day, y'all know we're gonna get it on like Don Kong Computer Juice. Let me tell you something, March 6th to the 10th, this is where we teach you about the culture, where it all started. Uh, for us to have this major event, uh, being able to expose, honor, and appreciate everyone from 
our local lounges, our vendors, our patrons, supporters, and our newcomers is definitely something you want to be a part of. It's fun, it's exciting, it's an awesome place to be at. Five days of extravaganza with the love of the leaf all day and day.